about 5,300 years ago, men began to use a new metal, which allows them to take a step further in the development of technologies and weapons. What he could not make it in the copper and stone ages, that metal was called bronze. Bronze, as an alloy of copper and tin, was created in ancient times, likely around 3300 BCE. The exact date and location of its discovery are not precisely known as it predates written history. However, archaeological evidence suggests that the earliest bronze artifacts were produced in regions such as the Middle East, Mesopotamia, and the Indus Valley. The development of bronze marked a significant technological advancement in human history because it offered several advantages over pure copper. Bronze is harder and more durable than copper, making it suitable for tools, weapons, and various other applications. This innovation contributed to the Bronze Age, a period characterized by the widespread use of bronze tools and artifacts. Over time, the knowledge of bronze production spread to different parts of the world including Europe, Asia, and Africa, leading to the proliferation of bronze-based tools, weapons, and art. The Bronze Age varied in timing from region to region, with some areas transitioning to the Iron Age, where iron and steel became more prominent materials. The use of bronze continued throughout antiquity and into classical antiquity with bronze coins, sculptures, and architectural elements being prominent examples of its enduring legacy. Today, bronze remains significant in various artistic and industrial applications, though it has been largely replaced by other materials like steel and aluminum for many industrial uses. Bronze is an alloy made by combining copper and tin in varying proportions the process of making bronze involves several steps. First, gathering raw materials. Copper and tin. Copper, typically high-quality copper or is used, which is first mined and then refined to obtain pure copper metal. Tin. Tin or is mined and processed to extract pure tin metal. Second, melting copper and tin. The pure copper and tin are separately melted in furnaces, at high temperatures, the melting point of bronze can vary depending on its composition, but it generally falls within the range of 930 to 1200 degrees Celsius. Third, alloying the metals. Once both metals are molten, they are combined in the desired proportions to create the bronze alloy. The exact ratio of copper to tin varies depending on the type of bronze needed. Common ratios range from about 90% copper and 10% tin to 80% copper and 20% tin, although variations exist. Fourth, homogenization. The molten bronze is thoroughly mixed to ensure an even distribution of tin throughout the alloy. This step is essential for achieving consistent properties in the final product. Fifth, pouring and shaping. After homogenization, the molten bronze can be poured into molds or shaped as needed for the specific application. This can include casting into various forms such as sculptures, tools, or other objects. Sixth, cooling and solidification. The molten bronze cools and solidifies in the molds, or as it is shaped. The cooling process is carefully controlled to prevent defects in the final product. Seventh, finishing. Once the bronze has solidified, it may undergo additional processes like polishing, grinding, or patination to achieve the desired appearance and surface texture. The specific details of the bronze making process can vary. Depending on the alloy's intended use, the type of equipment used, and the scale of production, bronze alloys with different compositions 
may require adjustments to the melting temperatures and other processing parameters. Bronze is a metal alloy primarily composed of copper, along with varying proportions of tin, and sometimes other elements such as aluminum, manganese, or phosphorus. The exact composition of bronze can vary, depending on its intended use, with different ratios of copper and tin producing alloys with distinct properties. Bronze has been used for thousands of years and has played a significant role in human history. It is known for its durability, corrosion resistance, and malleability, making it suitable for various applications, including art and sculpture. Bronze has been a favored material for casting sculptures and artworks due to its ability to hold fine details and its attractive patina that develops over time. Tools and Weapons Historical civilizations used bronze for making tools, weapons, and armor due to its strength and hardness compared to pure copper. Some musical instruments, such as bells, cymbals, and gongs, are made from bronze because of its resonant qualities and durability. Many ancient and historical coins were made from bronze due to its durability and distinctive appearance. Bronze has a rich history and continues to be valuable in various industries and artistic endeavors. The use of bronze, and thus the transition into the Bronze Age, occurred at different times in various regions around the world. Some of the earliest known cultures to use bronze include Mesopotamia, Sumerians and Akkadians, the region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, is often credited with being one of the earliest centers of bronze production. The Sumerians and Akkadians in this region were using bronze. By around 3300 BCE, they crafted bronze tools, weapons, and ceremonial objects. The Indus Valley Civilization, which existed in what is now modern-day Pakistan and northwest India, also entered the Bronze Age around 3300 BCE. They produced a variety of bronze artifacts, including figurines, tools, and ornaments. Ancient Egyptians began using bronze around 3100 BCE. Bronze was used for tools, weapons, jewelry, and religious artifacts. In ancient China, the Xia Dynasty 2070 to 1600 BCE and the subsequent Shang Dynasty 1600 to 1046 BCE were among the earliest cultures to use bronze extensively. Chinese bronze objects, particularly ritual vessels called Ding and Hu, are renowned for their craftsmanship and importance in rituals. In Europe, the Minoan civilization on the island of Crete and the Mycenaean civilization on the Greek mainland were using bronze by around 2000 BCE. It's important to note that the transition to the Bronze Age didn't occur simultaneously worldwide. Different regions entered the Bronze Age at different times, and the development of bronze working technology likely spread through trade and cultural diffusion. Each of these early bronze using cultures made significant contributions to the development of bronze metallurgy and its applications. The Bronze Age was a historical period, characterized by the widespread use of bronze, an alloy primarily composed of copper and tin, but sometimes other elements like arsenic or aluminum. This era marked a significant advancement in human civilization due to the development of metallurgy and the use of bronze for various tools, weapons, and cultural artifacts. The Bronze Age followed the Stone Age and is estimated to have begun around 3300 BCE in some regions of the world. It lasted for varying durations in different areas, but generally ended with the introduction of iron working techniques marking the transition to the Iron Age.
which began around 1200 BCE in some regions. The Bronze Age witnessed the development of extensive trade networks to acquire the necessary raw materials, particularly tin, which was often not available locally. These trade routes facilitated cultural exchange and the spread of knowledge. The use of bronze coincided with the growth of urban centers and the emergence of early city-states and complex societies. Bronze tools and weapons allowed for more efficient agriculture and defense. The Mycenaeans in Greece and the Shang Dynasty in China, each of these cultures made significant contributions to art, architecture, writing, and governance. The Bronze Age was not a uniform period, and different regions experienced their own timelines. The collapse of some Bronze Age civilizations is attributed to a combination of factors, including invasions, natural disasters, and societal upheavals. The knowledge of metallurgy and the use of bronze laid the foundation for future technological advancements, including the Iron Age. Bronze artifacts and the archaeological evidence from this era provide valuable insights into the development of early human societies. The Bronze Age was a pivotal period in human history. Bridging the gap between the Stone Age and the Iron Age, it marked a time of significant cultural and technological progress, leading to the rise of complex societies and laying the groundwork for further advancements in metallurgy and civilization. The end of the Bronze Age was a complex historical process with regional variations and it laid the foundation for the subsequent development of Iron Age civilizations in many parts of the world. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that subscribe button below. And thank you 